Memorial Day weekend at Galveston Island State Park. We did an activation on Saturday of Memorial Weekend, but there was a lot of people there, a lot of RFI, so I, of course I had to come back. And today, it, it's been storming the last two days, and so I didn't get as many activations in this week as what I wanted to do, but today, it's a nice, clear, sunny day, so we decided to come out here to the park, and I kind of am trying to kill two birds with one stone in this video. First off, I wanted to activate with my TX500 station with the DIY599 battery, and or the battery and the amplifier. So, going to activate with that today. Got the monstrosity Borg looking, all the cords and cables there. I am Locutus. And the second thing I wanted to do was take this and connect it to my Tar Heel antenna. Now, I want to do two things with this Tar Heel antenna. I've got the TS, the Kenwood TS 480 HX running in the truck, had it in there for a few months, and I've got this Tar Heel uh, HP 200 running here. And one of those things has really bad ears. I think it's the radio, but it could be the antenna. It could just, I mean, mobile antennas are compromised. There's no ground plane. It's set off to the side of the truck. But I have, I've made many contacts. I've made many DX contacts with this. It does work. It just doesn't hear very well. So what I wanted to do today was to set up an external radio and connect it to the Tar Heel and see how it works. Now, here's the bad news. The band conditions today are terrible. I don't know how it's going to go. If it goes badly, then I don't know if that's because of my, of just the terrible band conditions or what's going on. And I may have to test it again. But the second part of the test is to take the, the TS-480 in the truck and connect it to uh, an NFED half wave or something that I set up at a park, which I'm not going to do today. I'm, I'm pressed for time today. So I'm going to get this activation done and uh, we're going to see how it goes. Check this out. Today's video is sponsored by Ham Radio Prep. You can save 20% discount on all of their courses, Technician General Extra, Plus their HF Basics, Baofeng Basics, and MCOM course with the coupon code of Jason20. They've been a sponsor of mine for a while. Thank you for their support. Plus they are the brains behind World Radio League, which is the logging software we're going to be using today for this POTA activation. Check the links in the description below. All right, QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks on the Air. CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Calling CQ Parks on the Air from Galveston Island State Park, US 3013. Calling CQ POTA and listening. Kilo Romeo 5, Sierra India X-Ray. Hey Renee, good morning. Kilo, uh, Kilo Romeo 5, Sierra India X-Ray. Great signal, 5-9 in the park today. Good morning, Jason. And you're 5-9 here, booming. Very clear. Uh, thanks for that. Um, trying out a, well, not a new radio, trying out a different radio today, one I haven't used in a while, and I've uh, got a 10 watt uh, radio running into a small amplifier for QRP, but uh, it's running probably about 50 watts right now, so you're sounding good, Renee. Thanks for the contact. Well, it's looking really good for you. Enjoy the rest of your contact, uh, your activation. Have a good day. 73. All right, 73. CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Calling CQ Parks on the Air from Galveston Island State Park, US 3013. Calling CQ POTA and listening. Two, one, eight, Kilo 8, Charlie, Sierra, Charlie, 55. Five. All right, QSL, QSL, copy West Virginia. Thanks for the contact, 73. Oh, the band is terrible today. Kilo Echo Zero, Sierra, Yankee, Bravo. Kilo Echo Zero, Sierra, Yankee, Bravo, 5-7. 3-5, thank you, sir. Have a great one. Happy hunting. 3-5. Okay, copy the 3-5. Thank, uh, thank you for the activation today, 73. QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks on the Air. QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks on the Air. Kilo 5 something, Romeo? Kilo 5 Alpha, Foxtrot, Romeo, 5252 into Texas. Roger, Roger, 5-5 into Midland, Texas. Uh, 
Okay, copy the 5-5. Five, five. You came up to a 5-5 five, five yourself that time. Got some uh, QS Baker going on today. Got you in the logbook, man. Thanks uh, for Midland, Texas. Uh, the Whiskey Zero. Okay, okay, uh, whiskey, uh, whiskey Zero, Kilo Echo, Germany. Copy the 5-7, Mike November. Uh, you're about 5-5 five, five to 5-7 five, with the band going up and down to Texas, QSL. Roger, roger. Thanks for being out there today, 73. CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Uh, ending Foxtrot. Kilo Sierra 4, Romeo Foxtrot, about a 5-5. Five, five. Okay, I copy the 5-1 in Golf Alpha. Thank you for the contact today, 73. Overall successful, but not, not a good test, I don't think, of the low receive capabilities on my truck setup because the band today has been so crummy but i enjoyed setting this up i've been wanting to bring this contraption to galveston for a long time never brought it here before this is my first trip with this radio at this park and i really i really liked how it's performed everything worked well with the uh with the amp and the built-in tuner got the abr coax running all the way out there to the tar heel and I made about 12 contacts on a really crummy day with crummy band conditions, so I can't complain about that at all. But that just means that probably I'm going to have to try another day where the band conditions are up and maybe try the same day of switching the antenna on the truck radio, so putting the TS-480 in the truck on an external antenna, plus setting up on a bench right here and putting the Tar Heel attached to the truck on this external radio. But I want to try to tinker around with that. I think it's a fun experiment. I, again, uh, a mobile HF setup is going to be compromised. And I know a lot of you guys use the FT891. And honestly, that's probably the best radio to use these days. I just didn't want to use that because that's what everybody else uses. I know. I'm, it's strange. I know. Plus the TS480HX, mine will pump out about 200 watts. And that Tar Heel HP200 will handle legal limit, 1500 watts. I've, I don't have an amplifier, an HF amplifier for mobile right now yet, but if I ever got one, I'd have the antenna for it. So it's possible I might just trade up and get an FT891 eventually. I don't know, but I do want to do this experiment and see how well the TS480 performs on an external antenna and how well the Tar Heel performs on a external radio. And like I said, today with the TX500 here, and I don't really like that speaker mic. I gotta get, uh, I gotta hook up that connection where it has the microphone going in and the speaker coming out to an external speaker. But this radio performs pretty well, and I was able to get 12 contacts and make the activation. But I don't know, I don't know that this was a good test of the Tar Heel antenna on an external radio just because the band conditions today were so crummy. So, check the links in the description below, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.